Hello my soccer universe. I'm shooting this right after the Inter jersey to just get the Inter stuff off. Uh, that's why I'm still wearing the same PSG jersey. Uh, but yeah, there's one Milan jersey that I have in my collection that you have not seen it because uh, the last time I had Milan jersey I didn't have it yet. So this is my latest one and it's of course the current Milan home jersey. Milan might be playing crappily at the moment, but they are looking damn fine. This is my favorite Milan jersey in a very, very, very long time. I think the one they had from Adidas two years ago came close. Uh, it had, you know, for me Milan, thin straps, okay, I like a little bit thicker straps, uh, a teeny bit more, um, but the thin straps is a great look and it's a very historic look. Milan has been wearing thin stripes from the beginning then the stripes changed widths very often but um, this one was actually inspired by the 1969 champ Europa, European Cup now Champions League winning team where they were wearing thin stripes like that from what I know they were wearing a v-neck and not a crew neck and I think Puma only uh, issued crew necks this year around so that's why we have that other than that it would be a perfect copy I said it in my Serie A jersey review. What I love about this jersey is that this is straight out of the 90s. There's no modern, there's no form strap or what whatsoever. It's just you have the strap jersey, the sleeves are stitched on. So you know when you hold hold it like this, the sleeves go in the opposite direction than our stripes. But you know, this is how a strap jersey should, should look like. This is how you do it for a stripe, stripe jersey. This is so refreshing to see. I was absolutely love with it from the moment. Then it's only red and black. The only white is on the Puma Cats on the sponsor, which makes sense, and a little bit on the logo. And other than that, we have some gold on there. <sighs> you cannot make it any more perfect to me. This is a near perfect, well, it is a perfect Milan jersey. As I said, the only thing I would wish now is that they do a similar one uh, in red and black stripes. And you know, what I really loved is when they had a little bit thicker stripes, the collar, like my 1990 Milan uh, jersey, where you know the collar is in red and black, kind of this uh, fold over. But this is really nice. Then look at the ventilation here. It is very inter interesting, very structured here. If you look on the inside, you see it actually better. So the black is on there. Um, you see it also here on the inside color. So really nice. I find it interesting that the tag is here on the side. Uh, the Puma cats are uh, stitched on. It's the replica version, of course. And then uh, the crest, this is the, it's kind of a plastic thing. It's not stitched, which actually, when you go over it, you can really feel I don't know if you hear this, you can really feel this, but then the star here is stitched again, so that's nice. And then the new thing that they have since ever Puma came, and I actually really like it, is that they revived the little devil on the back. It is really small, just watch, this is my finger, it's really small on there, but it's noticeable, so yeah. And if you saw when I compared this jersey with the um, counterfeit I got, that was one of the things that was missing. And that is when I finally knew, yes, I got a counterfeit. But yeah, I'm so happy that I have this jersey. I got it for my birthday. Um, you saw me unpacking it. It is, this will be my go-to Milan jersey now for a long time. I'm pretty sure, even if they suck this season. Um, the tag here, just to, it's also interesting. And then it has the dry cell. On the other side. Other than that, it's plain, not much to talk about. Beautiful jersey. <sighs> what can I say more? Nothing. Let me know how you like this jersey. Um, if you have already any memories attached to it, I, the only memory that I have to attached to it is that they stink, which makes me not happy. But maybe if they now win the derby, then this will be, become a good jersey. But let's see. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Again, drop a comment below what you think about this jersey uh, in general. And yeah, give uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from my collection or anything else. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye.